that's our story for 2017. And that's one of those things we're just going to take with us on into 2018. So it will still be our story, still be our song. Praising our Savior all the day long. Praising our Savior no matter what happens and what comes our way. Because we know a God and that God remains the same. The year may change, but God remains the same. And we trust God to take us through everything that comes our way. Amen. Amen. So pray with me. Lord God in heaven, we need a word from you. We need a word from you as we begin this new year. So we thank you, God, that you've led us to Joshua. We thank you, oh God, for what he was able to do and for the model of faith and leadership that he proves to us to be. So touch each one of us, move in our heart, and oh God, bless us with your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. God prepares us to cross over. Mm. When we go for graduation services and we have the hat on our head and we take the tassel from one side to the other. That's a form of crossing over. When we come to a place in our lives where we have to choose which path to go down and we have to either take the left or the right and sometimes we aren't sure which path to take. And even after we take it, we're not absolutely sure that that was the right one. And that's a form of crossing over. Indeed, the people of God were in a position of crossing over. God knew that they would have to change in order to truly be his people, you and I, even as we go into 2017. And from that to 2018, we still carry some baggage that we've got to either drop, amen, <laughs> take it off and leave it. We can't take everything into 2018, but prayerfully we won't. Indeed, God gives us that opportune time to evaluate what has happened over this last year of 2017. And we know that it was at least the ability to help us survive, to face, this new year of 2018. And even though the time on the clock changes, amen, and we're not gonna write 2017 after the New Year's Eve has come and gone, and we're gonna write 2018, that there are some things we don't want to change, amen. There are some things that we really want to remain the same, but we want to grow even deeper in them. That was Joshua. Joshua was going to do this crossover with the Israelite people. He was taking them to a place where Moses couldn't take them. Moses had taken them as far as he could. And now that leadership that was given by Moses to the people happens to be born in this man named Joshua. You know, that's what they say in crisis situations. And that's what they say even in good time situations is that we who are here now, we who are living through these days, we need to look back and see who are we training to step into our shoes, to take our place, that leadership might continue, especially leadership that is God-driven and leadership that has a propensity for the love of God. Joshua was that person for Moses. He and Caleb went out and spied the land, and they were the only two they came back with a good report. And Moses began to train Joshua, and that not without God's knowledge and not without God's sanctioning, because Joshua was being prepared to be the next Moses and to lead and guard the people. Indeed, the people weren't always happy with leadership, amen. We're not always happy with leadership either. So this leadership, we're really putting before the Lord as things keep erupting and coming out. And we're wondering, where were they? Oh, where were they when all of what they said they stood for is getting challenged on every hand? So we know that as we come into this brand new year, that we're going to be in deep, in deep prayer for leadership. Amen. For leadership. And so some of the people were in prayer for Joshua, especially the priests. 
the priests were in prayer for Joshua as he stepped forward to lead the people. God knew that they had to cross over, and they had to cross over, not from one year to another year, but they had to cross over from one country to another country, and then they had to take that country, amen? It wasn't just going to be there for them to have. They were going to have to take the country. And Joshua was strong and mighty. But would the people follow him? Not if they didn't believe he was the one called by God. So God let Joshua know that as the priests were carrying the ark, and the ark contained the Ten Commandments, they contained the rod of Moses, and they contained the talk with cherubim, and indeed, they represented the very presence of God. And they contained that jar of miracle manna by which God had fed the people of Israel. Ah, and it was only the priests that could carry the ark. And the ark represented God's presence with them. And God wanted that presence to stay visible before them. I don't know for you what represents God being with you always. Maybe it's a song that you remember that has gotten you through a difficult time. Maybe it's a scripture verse that just comes and stays on your mind, but lets you know that you know, that God knows where you are and how you are, and that God, the same one that kept you through a previous crisis is right there with you through this one. Oh yes, the priest were those that would pray for the people and indeed encourage the people in the work of the Lord. And the priests were encouraging Joshua as they carried the ark, the ark bearing, bearing, bearing the Ten Commandments, bearing the man, and bearing the rod of Moses. And indeed, indeed, as they marched through, as they rested, Three days, God gave them that time to rest. Won't you two please take a moment, take a time, take a day or two, take three days and gather some rest. God rested them before they did this crossing over. And when they did the crossover, it was easy for them to do because they had their faith strong and content in the Lord. Oh, they knew there was going to be trouble ahead of them. They knew that everything wasn't going to be perfect. They knew that life was going to still carry the same challenges and burdens that it had carried before. And what they knew most of all is that the very presence of God was going with them. So whatever they could go through, whatever God pressed into them to go through, they would be able to do it because God would be the one that would help them in each step of the way. God would be the one that when the flood came in, it wouldn't overwhelm them. God would be the one to keep them focused on the things of God and doing the wondrous works of God. It would be God who would drive out their enemies. God who would back up Satan. Oh, God who would change Satan's agenda. It's always against us. It's never for us. And if Satan can get us down and out, Satan will surely do that. But God, God is able to strengthen us on every side, to take us through the deep waters of life, to give us challenges to overcome so that we can look back and say, I know God brought me through that one. He can surely take me through the next one, and I will rejoice and be glad in the Lord. I will praise the Lord. I will give a good report because the one thing I know is that my God has prepared me to cross over. He didn't leave me without preparing me to be able to make the change. He didn't fix it so that my faith would fail, but he fixed it so that my faith would rise up and be a part of each and every challenge that came my way. And God said it so that I would worship the Lord in the good times, worship the Lord in the mundane times, worship the Lord in the trying times. I would always celebrate the goodness of God while I'm in the land of the living. And when the land of the living is all said and done, 
I have this great hope, and you have this great hope, and we have this great hope that we shall be with God forever, and we'll be with one another forever, and we'll celebrate always how we made it over. God prepares us to cross over. Let God continue this day to prepare us to cross over from 2017 to 2018, to leave some things behind and to pick up the things that got us through and take those on with us and know with an assurance that our God is able to deliver us, to keep us, and to give us that joy that goes beyond all understanding when we know God in the pardon of our sins and we have the hope for a brand new year and the hope for life eternal and know that God is able to give us exactly what we need. So God led Joshua through and Joshua led the people and God is still looking out for me and you. God prepares us to cross over. Let God prepare you in the very depths of your soul that you might cross over into this brand new year and be satisfied that all is well. In your favor, God is working. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen.